Anchors on course has been 15 into $5.50. They're ready. Light flashes. 1,212 metres the distance for the Echuca News Agency and the two-year-olds are away. Magnia jumped well from our deep silver screen queen. Montana Man all go forward close to the inside. Wins or not is pushing on in the pack. Nat Callas, but Magnia from the outside still has the lead at the 1,000. Silver screen queen went to second and third is that Montana Man. Getting into a nice trail, fourth wins or not. A length in advance of Valour, who's on the improve. A length further back in the field to one danger. Then just one time. A length from on the outside, Al Nuna from Digitalism, who's third last. The inside from Young Richie and La Pepper. Along the side, Magnia got to breathe the pass to 600, three quarters of a length in front. Silver Screen Queen is second. Third, the inside wins are not from Montana Man. One danger next. The lure easing to the outside with just one time. Uh, still well back in play. Al Nuna giving the leaders five or six. Magnia at the 300 cornered in. Quickly put two lengths on Windsor not who's been asked for the effort. Then Silver Screen Queen. Further back to the lure. Montana Man. Al Nuna only battling down to the 150. Magnia three in front of Montana Man. Silver Screen Queen. Al Nuna runs on late but down inside the 100 and it's all Magnia. Magnia drawing away for a good win. Magnia won it by four Montana men. Silver Screen Queen might just hold on to third. Al Nuna fourth from uh, Valura down the outside. They were followed across by uh, Digitalism who was close to the inside from Young Richie La Pepper wins or not. One danger and just one time. Pretty good, wasn't he? Magnia uh, jumped from the gate, uh, quickly uh, came across, led, controlled, cleared out, won impressively, and there still looks an element of rawness about him when we watch him come up the straight, and even a bit on pulling up, so uh, there's plenty of upside, and being out of his build there, you'd expect also distance later on, as we heard from the stable prior to the race, uh, surely to be to, uh, to his favour. Just uh, when he got towards those uh, advertising signs, he just wanted to uh, duck out and shy away from the post. We'll get a better guide uh, from this head-on angle, but he was well and truly clear of everything else. Montana Man's uh, worked home well. Yellow sleeve, silver screen queen in the Moratus Colours raced with the winner. As we just watched this winner make a quick right-hand turn quite abruptly about 20 metres from the line. And Valua for Daly coming down the centre. It's run also quite good. Maybe a race you'll have to look at several times with a few of those uh, horses getting home from back in the field. Uh, Windsor not had a good trail into the race, it seemed, and uh, it just battled away. And it looked like a good place chance, top of the straight. It's finished out of the top five. Uh, time 111.61, 111.61, and numbers 2, 3, and 6. So uh, Vlad Jerry coming back. Here on track, it was 3.20 up to $5, and it started the equal second favourite with the lure uh, behind Windsor Knot, which held on to favouritism. Uh, just watching the other horses, the uh, market mover El Nuno wasn't that far away in the end. Fourth or fifth, was seven, in fact, fifth, with the 12 silver screen queen, who sat second to the turn, finishing in fourth. So that's them. All right, these runners are coming back to a scale after the running of race number two. Noted uh, the Anthony Cummings Yard has uh, had a good deal of success here in, uh, in Melbourne with their Melbourne stable 